All of the ingredients are now assembled for making hot dogs. These include the different meats to be used in this recipe, the ice water, the wiener seasoning, salt, mustard, wheat flour, starch, and other minor ingredients including sodium urethorbate and sodium tripolyphosphate. It's important to have good temperature control during hot dog production, so temperatures are often checked and monitored to ensure that the product will be at the right temperature at the right stage during production. Generally, you want the meat ingredients to be at four degrees Celsius or below. As mentioned previously, protein extraction is an important aspect of hot dog production. Here, Gerhard is showing that the coarse meats won't stick together and there is very little protein extraction yet. The seasonings and carbohydrate ingredients are mixed together to ensure good distribution later in the sausage. All of the ingredients that act as salts are also being mixed together separately. The salts will be added initially with the meat to help increase protein extraction. Now to begin the chopping process. We're using what is called the build-up method where different ingredients are being added at different stages during the chopping process. The first stage is to add the lean meats together with about half the water and the salts. During this initial chopping process, the protein extraction will begin. The important proteins to be extracted are the salt-soluble proteins, including actin and myosin. A bold chopper is also sometimes called a silent cutter. However, I don't know where people got that name because it is very noisy. As you can see, we are getting excellent protein extraction as the meat mixture is becoming very sticky. The next step in the build-up method for hot dog production is to add the fatty meats as well as the carbohydrates and seasonings. The remaining water will also be added at this stage. The sausage will be chopped now until it reaches a very small particle size. The extent of chopping varies with the source of fat. With beef hot dogs being chopped to a higher temperature than pork hot dogs and if you were making poultry hot dogs the temperature would rise uh, much less during this stage of processing. If we were to look at the meat matrix during this chopping step we would see that the protein is now coating the fat pieces. And this is important to achieve a stable hot dog mixture at the end of the process. While hot dogs are more complex than a emulsion such as mayonnaise, we are achieving distribution of fat particles in a larger meat matrix. In some hot dog processes, the chopping would continue until the particles were very fine. We're going to speed up the process today by using what is called an emulsion mill. The emulsion mill produces a very fine particle size in a very short time. You can see that the color has become more pale as we are also incorporating air into the mixture as it is going through the emulsion mill. 
inside the emulsion mill are a series of plates which help reduce the particle size even more and will allow for more protein extraction from the lean meat tissue. Because of the friction in the emulsion mill, the temperature here can often raise to 15 degrees Celsius. We've now gone from coarse meats all the way to a very finely chopped meat mixture. In order to give that some shape, we will now put the sausage into casings. 